Christian Catwalk is brought to you by Odyssey Gaming at the Marketplace, Kingston. Come play with us. Digicel. Be extraordinary. Good morning, designers. As you can see, we have a nice little parcel from Pablo's. Would anyone like to guess what's inside? <laughs> Luxurious cup. <laughs> Everybody's still happy? Yeah, it's nothing has changed really. Nobody is like jealous or envious. Or mm, should I be honest or should I just be as you? Okay, let's go for it. Mission Catwalk Season 3. From runway to retail. 15 designers from across the Caribbean. Let the competition begin. Live, breathe, fashion. Designer for la vie. But only one will make it to London Fashion Week. I'll show you fashion. Over three million dollars in cash and prizes to be won. Who will complete this mission? Who will rule the catwalk? We've narrowed down to 14 pieces of fabric, so you will each have a choice. As the days go on, it's gonna to get tougher and tougher. So I said, what's the worst they can do? Give us like two garments to do in a day. For your next mission, you will be designing a garment for a Digicel brand ambassador who will be attending a red carpet launch for the new Samsung Galaxy S3 Mini. The winner of this mission will receive their own Samsung Galaxy Mini. And your muse will be Yendi Phillips, Miss Jamaica Universe, and first run up to Miss Universe. Now, if she likes your garment, who knows, she might rock it on the red carpet. Now, let's rip that bag apart to see what Pablo sent for us. I just wanted to see what the fabric was. I was, <laughs> I was just so excited. So we have a beautiful selection here. Narrow, what good selection from Pablo's we have. Everything from chiffon to poly to food soie to our metallics and spandex, everything. I kind of tried to get on Theodore's good side today because he had the upper hand. He got first selection uh, fabrics and I was in love with the silver stretch metallic fabric. Uh, I could see that as something I'd go in the store and purchase. And I kind of tried to bargain with him. Yo, Theo, uh, let me get that fabric and I'll help you out later, maybe. So you're now gonna make your selection, starting with you, Theodore. Mm. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> David, you're next. I don't know if that's the only thing I can work with. Life is a stage, we're all the actors. He's the lead actor. So I wanted right there when he took already. Really? Well, next time win, so you can have the first pick. There's nothing else I like. Okay, Reynardo. Alexis. <laughs> Black. Why am I not surprised? So you have eight hours to finish your garment, and we will. Wait, is eight hours? <laughs> <laughs> well, running from one full day into the next, it's kind of, it is a lot of... <sighs> then we're going to send to Trimming World to get your trimming. You will not be going to Trimming World because runway show is this evening. Good luck. I'm frustrated. I felt extremely tired this morning. Mm, I prefer the two days. Just down. Tired. Most of the time, everybody is just silent in their own zone, trying to figure out what to do. My only thing right now is that I've been doing a lot of dresses and I really wanted to show range, but then this challenge is to do a dress. So I can't get away from it today. I have to do a dress. Are you drinking? I don't. It's just a little brain freeze. I'm not gonna jump out yet. <laughs> I'm not ready yet. The design will come to me. I hope it's not at the last minute. When I ripped apart the Pablo's <laughs> package, 
I really wanted to know what was the fabrics that they chose for us since I really didn't want it to be <laughs> cotton. And then I was so excited. I got so excited when I saw all the variety of fabrics. I was like, yes. It's really cool because it's Yandy and I think she is super gorgeous. We have the challenge of merging Digicel, Samsung Galaxy, and Yandy Phillips all in one design. I wanted <laughs> the two fabrics that I wanted were taken quite early. And seeing that I had that I had the the sixth highest score, yeah. I I got, you know, what was left over. Um something will come about. I'm enjoying it. Second day, enjoying the challenge. Theodore being Theodore, he took the fabric that he knew I wanted and fair enough, uh, I guess it's a reward for coming first. I don't know what's going on. I, they need to tell me. I'm not, I'm not too certain. Supposedly, he said he wanted the fabric I had, but it wasn't anything serious. We giving this to you, David? Oh. Anybody in here going to the store? Me? I'm going to the store. Terminal. You going? You can take my list, please. Thank you. You don't trust David, eh? David said he wasn't taking the list. You asked me if you're giving the list to me, not if I have a problem taking the list. I don't want to get there. Thank you. I guess gives me more of a drive to come on and talk this this challenge. David. Thank you. Don't give us time, I don't know you're going to drop off for the one day. I'm my biggest threat right now. See if I do well or don't do well, and I go home. Who will rule the catwalk? The winner of Mission Catwalk will receive a fashion spread in Six Carlos magazine, $500,000 to start their own clothing line, $200,000 worth of sewing equipment courtesy of Singer, a contract to sell their clothing line at Lee's Fifth Avenue, a scholarship to study at the London College of Fashion, and a chance to show their collection at London Fashion Week. If you love a great deal, did you sell give me five extra platters for you? You wouldn't believe how much things are just got in the market. You can talk to who you want, whenever you want, and still get a whole heap of free kiss. Because you get free talk, free text, free nights, free international, free credit, free internet, and cash bar. With Digicel, your credit really lasts longer. An experience like no other is waiting for you inside Odyssey. Rethink gaming, rethink entertainment, rethink excitement inside our luxurious lounge at the marketplace. Win at blackjack, roulette, poker and slots while indulging in sumptuous hors d'oeuvres and your favorite drinks. It's all inside, so why wait? Come play with us at the one, the only Odyssey Gaming. The catwalk. We we're designing for Yandy Phillips. She's been in Trinidad a couple of times. She's a pageant person. I know she's a pageant girl, but that's just one facet of her life. She's very trendy. I don't want it to be like too pageant or too literal. I recall an international company, I think it's called Isuri International. They created all of her gowns for Miss World and Miss Universe. Took um, features from the phone, like these shapes. When I look at the Samsung, it's just sleek and just this, you know, this nice shape. And transferred it onto my garment. Try to use that kind of inspiration with the sleek lines and kind of a flared bottom. But also bearing in mind why Yandy likes this challenge. First thing, you don't want it to wear something that they're uncomfortable in. Although it's a cocktail dress, just to kind of accentuate her hourglass figure. She loves her hips. And I'm gonna focus on the body parts that I like most about her. I'm gonna, you know, make that <laughs> stand out as much as I can. And that's what I'm gonna show off. First thing people think of Digicel is red. I'm gonna go with red. It's Digicel's brand color. Digicel Saint Lucia um, to me is this new big brand. Advertising campaigns, it's, it's clear that you know they target the young people. We have the challenge of merging Digicel, Samsung Galaxy and Yandy Phillips 
all in one design. You know, she's young, she's pretty, she has a great body. Generally, she's just such a lovely person. <laughs> the Samsung Galaxy, luckily, is a sexy phone as well. So I'm really, really excited to do this. I decided to do a back that's pretty much open. I'm actually using knit. I'm going to keep it as simple as possible. The dress is supposed to speak to Yandy. We're using her as a muse and she has an incredible body. She has a very sleek back, long torso, so I wanted to use that as much as possible. And um, basically keep it simple but very elegant cut. The basic is there, like I made the basic just in case, but it needs to be tweaked. Um, the fabric that I got was a red, it's like a semi-stretch satin. It's not my first choice. It's not something that I'd ever go in a store and purchase, but I'm working with it and I'm loving it. What I plan to do is use her sexiness with the brand color of Digicel and give the feel of the Samsung Galaxy. Immediately what I thought about was instead of just using all metallic, you know, one one color like everyone else will do, my fabric has two sides to it. So I'm kind of using a gold and a silver metallic at the same time. I'm excited to be working with it. It's going pretty well so far. I haven't started stitching yet. I have I have some good time left. I'm trying to copy you. I have good thoughts over just When I was doing the last challenge, he made the comment that, oh, uh, you're using the same colors as I am. But in the end, it wasn't the same colors at all. I think he just tries to play a mental game. David and I actually used to be really close friends. I, I know Theodore is good. I know I'm good. Uh, we're happy to be two Bahamians still in the competition and still going strong. Time just separates people. We're still very cordial. I think we're cool. Do you have me reset? Do you try to come? Go and relax yourself, please. Go and relax yourself. That's what you're trying to insinuate. Oh, 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 oh. If he can get to you mentally, he's one. So I think it's just a constant back and forth because I'm not going to allow him to get to me mentally. So today he's like, oh, the bottom of your dress is the same flair as mine. It's not. His hem is asymmetric. My hem is symmetrical. This is some art. <laughs> it's not like a how we leave, but I mean, it's a bad time to have a brain freeze right now. I mean, previous challenges, like I have ideas in my head just rolling, rolling, rolling. I know it's down to like uh, seven now. It's like, okay, this is a bad time to have a brain freeze. A really bad time. I don't know what I'm going to do. Hopefully, I pull it together soon. I only have a top. <laughs> That's all I have right now. <laughs> I'm freaking out because I can say my bottom is in pieces. So I have to still put those pieces together. My country celebrates 40 years of independence this year and winning Mission Catwalk would be an awesome gift to give them. The catwalk. My business observer really matters. It keeps me up to date with new stories, the stock market, and the economy. And I can also keep my eye on my competitors. Observer West is my team. Getting it delivered to my computer, it's interactive. North Coast to the South Coast. My son of finance gives me a roundup of corporate, local, regional, and international news that matters. The credible journalism, not to mention the agenda, there's no debate about it. Entertainment. Auto. The Mavic Lock. Continue experiencing the Jamaica Observer in print and our all access digital package. Subscribe today. I really like Pepper Pot. It's more compact and easier to read. I think it was 
all women. It speaks to me, and that matters. Teenage Observer, it's perfect. What would I do without my study center? It's a train center. At the end of the week, I look forward to the Sunday Observer in New Orleans. And that's what matters. Every day matters. Subscribe today by going to jamaicaobserver.com or calling our nearest office. Everything you love about gaming is at the Acropolis. The anticipation, the excitement, the winning and the good times. It's all inside your favorite gaming lounge. Join us at Barbican in Kingston or on the hip strip in Montego Bay as you win at slots, blackjack, Roulette or the exciting Royal Ascot. Game, eat, drink, and be a part of the Acropolis lifestyle. We're waiting for you at Acropolis. Who will rule the catwalk? They're paying more attention now because, you know, everybody got up the game, so. Well, you need to put some stiffening in here. You should have, uh, you need to build a whole body and put this on top of it. What you're letting it be born on the mannequin. I think you should make a sketch. This way you know exactly what you're aiming for. I think you better put it down on hair and see it on hair, what you want to do. And then it will give you a guidance of what you want to do up here. You know, silk needs to look rich. You don't want to cheaten up this beautiful silk fabric. I think you better get your thing down here first and prepare your pattern and boom, you can finish quickly. Okay. Okay. This is your full. Here you're gonna stitch and you're gonna come here. Then you do one stitch across here. I didn't do that. That's right, that's why. And then you go up and then these corners will turn clean. Do you think I could salvage this or should I just try to recut? Well, if you have time and you have the fabric, because these, where are you gonna put this? Where's put it? At the, bottom. At the back? Yeah, I can finish and show you. Yeah. While you're sewing, it would have been better if you left hair open, then sew it to there and then finish the hole. Hair to there can't look good. What if I take this, and after I sew this to the lining, I put this inside of that, right sides together, and then sew a straight stitch and then open it up. Wouldn't that be okay? Yeah, if you can do a neat job, you have to get seam to seam, seam to seam, mm -hmm. perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna put a band like this. Yeah. In between there, I just don't know how yet. Oh. Why am I using some of this? Just put a bracket there. Just one bracket. Inside, that you see it and you don't see it. Yeah, that you see it and you don't see it. You don't see where it ends. Yeah. Okay, that sounds a little better. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Let's see your sketch first of all. This is what I wanted to do, right? And this, these are meant to be like tucks, like mm -hmm. out there, so it kind of gives it like a three-dimensional. Oh, yeah, let's see the fabric. Which is the direction you're going? You know, this is not going to be easy. Oh, I've done it to do tucks, huh? Uh, no, I don't want them to lie down. I want them just... I know, well then you should have some cord in it. What, how are you gonna get this effect? Oh, I just stitch it on the right side and it just stands out like that. It kind of gives like a ribbed kind of... I know, but uh, you know, to be really a ribbed effect, you need like a cording behind. But yeah. I've done it before and it works yeah. fabulous. Okay, okay, I believe you. <laughs> the design is very straightforward, very simple, so um, I'm actually sewing a lot faster than I've ever been. <laughs> Good luck with this. Let me see it. How, but uh, shouldn't you have marked it? How are you going to mark it now to get them accurate going around? So I'm just going to mark it after. Well, now that the seam is in. Oh, so then open. you have to press so the seam open. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so you can't do anything with that seam because you're having this in one straight exactly. stitch. Yeah, but, hmm. <laughs> you better start stitching. If this sleeve 
is coming up like this, then it needs a support around like a half moon in here to come. No, a stitch? Uh, no, you leave it loose in here, mm -hmm. but it's shaped like a half moon, just like the shape of the sleeve. You have this interesting thing here, but you cannot do this successfully, these bands on a knit. If you're doing these bands on a knit, these should be all seamed in bands. Right. Oh, okay. And then it would fit beautifully. Now, because you have these straight bands, it mm -hmm. can't nip and cut and, t and shape into the girl's body as, as nicely as it would if you have it, um, you know, you see what it is doing? Mm -hmm. It is creating, but if you had it seamed in, it would just fit just like a glove. Mm. Yeah, you, you, you know, you have, and I know it's a lot of seams, but then if you want to do this, that's the law. That's how it works. I don't want you to burst the zipper. Then we have trouble. I love what you did that you double it up. This is going to look really gorgeous on, but why not do all the seams like that? I see what you're saying, hide everything? Of course. No, I like the lines. What you should have done is put some pell on, on the inside, inside okay. to hold that neckline. It would fit, you see what this is doing? It's gaping here. Uh -huh. If you had just come here and swooped it around a little oh, bit right. to here, then gravity will hold from here to here, would even well. would hold it well. It's too late now, you can't do it because you'd have to recut over this whole piece. You go through the trouble with all of this. Why aren't you putting your seam allowance and put notches, everything fit down. When you get on the sewing machine, just sew. Don't Is get up. Time yes, you do. Which, you know which time goes quicker? The time that you use to prepare <coughs> might be a little longer, but your sewing is quicker. You don't have to get up from the sewing machine. Why do you have a seam here? Should we put it on the fold? Of course. This looks terrible on this fabric to put seam on it. The idea of a stretch is to make as less seams as possible. That's the beauty of stretch. You go now and you put a seam here, and you know what, this looks like a brocade. You have no need to have a seam here. In the whole back of the skirt? In the front and the back. So wh what, what down you down gonna there. fill in here? They will have lines, which are these panels here coming down. Oh, oh each one comes? Yeah, so each, each line. Ah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, I understand it now. So it comes down to like a staircase. Mm -hmm. So this line here actually. So this is the front. Are you going to do the back the same too? Yes, the back will be the same as well, yeah. Mm. Okay. And what is it, 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 where this is going to start at the waist? The, um, just below the waist, like two inches below. Why? Um, well, the top bodice, the back. Like the mesh extends two inches below the waist oh, of the back. Oh, okay. Right. All right. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. I would have preferred circles. <laughs> no, I so, I can't understand what you're saying. Catwalk.